Ja, Kazimierz Wielki. Witam cię na ziemiach Wielkiego Królestwa Polskiego. Hello everyone, it's Chief Games 18 here, bringing you a new how to play guide. And today I will be bringing you Poland. So, how do you play as Poland? So, right, let's first find um, Poland. Da, 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 da. So, the Polish. Their special power is they receive a free social policy when you advance the next era. That's, 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 that's amazing. That means they get, uh, I think there's about eight to nine eras, so they get like eight or nine free social policies. So you're going to want to go for quite scientific, and um, yeah, you want to go scientific victory maybe, because possibly you want to go especially very scientific so you can get through the eras, bang, 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 so you just keep getting these social policies, and later on it'll be harder to get them, obviously. But that's one way of thinking about it, you go get, you need to be quite scientific, because you want to get these social policies, you want to use your unique abilities, there's no point in um, not having a really scientific ability and then realizing oh wait I'm not even going to use my special power so you might as well do that so their unique unit is, is, is amazing um, so the winged hussar it's got an extra movement than the lancer and an extra three or four uh, three or two combat strength than the lancer which it replaces and it's also got a special a promotion called heavy charge um, it forces a, a defender to a uh, to retreat if it inflicts more damage than it receives and if that defender can't retreat then it takes extra damage so you got when it comes to the um, renaissance era I think the Lancer is or sometime around that you're gonna want to pump these out and if you're going for a domination victory which you could easily go with with the the Polish there I would say quite a lot of the victories apart from diplomatic I would suggest scientific yes so you can get the three eras anyway domination because you get the winged hussars and then you get the unique building which gives um, you extra stuff, which is good. And then cultural, yeah, in a way, because you're getting these free social policies, so they can help you along with um, certain stuff like aesthetics down that um, road. So yeah, and it's also got a formation thing which gives it 33% uh, combat strength versus mounted units, so that's very good. So the other unique thing is the Ducal Stable. Um, this is a unique Polish stable replacement. It's got plus 15% production and plus 15% for um, mounted units. And then it also gives one production and one gold for each pasture. It always gave the production for pasture, but also gives you an extra gold. And it gives you 15% XP towards uh, mounted units. So, and oh, and it's um, cheaper, I think, by about 20. Okay, yeah, by about 17 production. So it's cheaper to build as well. So you have your Ducal Stadium. Then you have your wing to SARS, you can give it a promotion, then whop these out quickly because you'll be building a sta uh, stable quickly. So you can have these all uh, on the field quite quickly, uh, which is very good indeed. So that um, that would have you in a domination victory. Well, what victories? I would recommend scientific. Uh, you would want to go uh, either traditional liberty, depends how you want to really play um, that type of victory. And then definitely you want to go with rationalism just to help you boost your science and then um, the others it doesn't really matter um, if it's on a more land based continent then you want to go commerce to get the extra gold for land if it's on a few islands then you want to go exploration and then the other two doesn't really matter um, like the, auto um, the autocracy order of freedom I would generally want if uh, you're going for a scientific victory go uh, freedom because so you can purchase spaceship parts with gold uh, for domination victory, I'd recommend picking up honor, uh, and then maybe liberty of tradition. Depends how you want to play, and then obviously, like I said, land, commerce, exploration, more naval based, and then I'd go autocracy because you get extra happiness for um, certain stuff. So it would reduce the happiness when you take buildings. That's good, uh, and then a cultural victory, kind of. So if you want to go cultural victory, then go liberty. Or tradition once again just choose one of those do you want to have a small empire or do you want a large expansive empire uh, and then you're going to want to go with aesthetics this will help you with generating great writers uh, great artists great musicians so this will very much help you along the road to a cultural victory so this has been uh, how to play guide for civ 5 um i haven't really got much to say on the polish they're they're, they're really good they're quite well rounded in the victory types apart from diplomatic i wouldn't really go for diplomatic as such but they can help you uh, either way. 
So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, the next um, How to Play guide will be up soon. I don't know who it will be. Possibly Morocco. Not really sure. But thanks for watching, guys. Chief Games 18 here. Like and subscribe, please. Um, thanks for watching.